Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're going to be going over the adapter for extended D-ring bumper mounts to Roadmaster tow bars. So here's what our adapter looks like. And what this is going to do is, it's going to allow you to attach a Roadmaster motorhome mounted tow bar. A motorhome mounted tow bar is one that installs into the hitch receiver on the motorhome and it gets stored there while not in use. A couple example of those motorhome mounted tow bars is the Falcon 2, which is what we have here, the Blackhawk, the Sterling, and there's several others. And this is going to allow us to attach to D-ring bumper mounts welded onto our off-road Jeep bumpers. So a lot of Jeep owners like to install aftermarket bumpers on their Jeep for one reason or another. And a lot of them actually have these little welded on D-rings. And they like to use these for flat towing. Now the reason they use these for flat towing is because most of the times your base plate kits aren't going to fit with an aftermarket bumper. Therefore, it's kind of their only option. It is very common to tow with these D-rings, but I would like to point out with, you do need to message your manufacturer, check with them to make sure that these are rated for towing because not all aftermarket bumpers allow you to flat tow with these. So it is very important that you do reach out to the bumper manufacturer and make sure you're safe to do so. So there's a couple criteria that we need to ensure our D-rings have in order for this to be compatible. Now, number one, this kit here is specifically designed for one inch thick D-rings. That's probably the most common, but there is another one that's sort of common as well, and that's a 7 8 inch thick D-ring, and in which case there is still an adapter that you can use for this, but this particular one won't work. So this one is specific to those 1 inch, and that's simply referring to the width of the D-ring. We also need to be sure that the hole is going to be either 7 8 of an inch diameter or 1 inch diameter, or if it's smaller than that, you could actually drill it out, but keep in mind there is some liability with that with the bumper manufacturer. So those are the two things that we need to be sure of. This particular kit here that Roadmaster offers, now there's actually a couple different versions. We talked about there being one for the 7 8 inch thick shackles. There's also two different ones for the one inch. We have the standard ones, and these here are actually the extended length ones. So the extended length is referring to this portion here, and what this allows us for is, some of the aftermarket bumpers have different shaped D-rings and some of them extend out a little bit more, making them incompatible with the standard version. Therefore, this extended version there is gonna be required for certain bumpers. Now, if you have the one inch thick D-rings, I recommend using this regardless because it's the most widely compatible. So that's why I like this one best. So in regards to hooking up to our Jeep, this is very, very easy. Um, this is easier than most base plates. So basically what we're gonna do is, on one side here, we're gonna have a pin got a little keeper there we just pull that pin out and then we're going to just simply pull this pin out and you can see it just falls right out and then our ears are going to drop to the side here and then we're done this is pretty much how it's going to be we're just driving around town in our jeep there we would then just simply stow the tow bar on the motorhome and these are going to stay attached so you don't have to worry about storing these separately and then when we're ready to hook up we would obviously just do that same thing in reverse here now keep in mind, if you can't remove this pin here, you need to go ahead and break the tension free from your tow bar arms. That typically happens after you've been towing and the arms are locked out. Or if you're not on level ground, but pretty much every tow bar has some sort of prescribed procedure for you to break that tension. But with that being said, just reinsert your pin, reinsert your clip, then you just need to hook up your other electrical connectors, your safety cables, and that's pretty much it. It's very simple and easy to use. So one potential issue you could run into, depending on which aftermarket bumper you have, is securing your safety chains. So your safety chains, you really want these hooked up to the frame of the vehicle because if the bumper fails, you need something that's gonna attach to the frame that's still gonna keep your Jeep attached to the motorhome. Now, there's not a lot of bumpers that have any sort of provisions built in for the safety chain, so in order to attach it to the frame, here's what we did. What we did is we took one of these little quick link things, these are pretty common for towing, and we basically just installed it into this little bracket here which wraps around to the frame. Now I will say we did have to notch out this hole a little bit and we did have to come at an angle here with our quick link, but we were able to get it installed in there and attached to the frame. And you can see the other end is just attached to the clevis hook for our safety cable. So you guys can get creative here. Um, I found this was a great way that didn't require a lot of modifications, so that's what I used. But a lot of this is gonna be variables depending on what particular bumper you have but I think this is a good way for most setups. Most of the time, these are gonna be free from your bumper, so this is definitely what I recommend when you're hooking up your safety cables. 
So in regards to installation, this is very simple. It's definitely something you guys can do at home by yourselves. You will need a couple tools, but they're pretty common tools, so it's not something I don't think you guys are gonna have just in a, a standard toolbox. Basically, we're just gonna be replacing the arms on the end of our tow bar, and then we may or may not need to do any modifications to the D-rings on the Jeep bumper here. For our particular one, we had to install that spacer because we had a little bit too much slop with our pin there, but that's again gonna depend on your specific setup and which particular bumper you have in regards to whether or not we need to do that. And that's gonna do it for our look at the adapter for extended D-ring bumper mounts to Roadmaster tow bars.